Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this Sabrent Rocket Gen 4 PCI Express SSD. Yeah, it's Gen 4, so that means it can run at roughly around about 5,000 megabytes per second. It also has a read speed of around about 4,400 megabytes per second. We're going to put it through its uh, paces in a few minutes, see if it is actually capable of going those speeds. We're going to stick it on a Threadripper machine, a new third gen one, and see if it is capable of doing that. They do a 500 gigabyte version, which is roughly around about 100 pound mark. They do a one terabyte, which this is, is, which is around about 170 pounds and they also do a two terabyte version which is around about 360 370 pounds but prices are changing daily okay let's have a quick look at this rocket nvme 4.0 you can see basically what it looks like on the box there's not much to it it's a small box it tells you the size at the bottom high performance pci express 4.0 m.2 ssd gives you a little bit of information on the side and on the back, but pretty much not much. Let's have a look inside the box, if I can get in there. It's not sealed, but here we go. So what we've got. Okay, so it's coming like a little case, which has got, again, the information there. And it slides open. You've got your little manual there. And underneath this bit of card, it looked like it was a dummy then for a second. Uh, you've got that there and then you can see the SSD so let's pull it out and as you can see the SSD is there it's only got one basically cut out on the pins area there the back is pretty straightforward just tells you the model numbers there's no heat sink on this one but they do sell a version what does have a heat sink i'll put the links to that in the description but obviously if your motherboard's got heat sinks built in you possibly won't need it unless you want that little bit extra performance because their heat sinks do look huge on these Okay, so in basics, the full description of this machine is in the description, uh, but all devices, what we're testing here, have been tested on the same machine, so it gives you a rough idea the sort of speeds are not different because of the machine. As you can see here, the Crystal Dismar SSD read speed, it's getting nearly 5,000 megabytes per second, which is what it's quoted at doing, which is pretty good, uh, but for some reason on the right speed test it only achieves 1000 megabytes per second considering it was supposed to get 4400 that's a big difference i'm thinking it's an issue with the program itself no matter what setting we put it on what write speed read speeds whatever we put it on it will come out with roughly the same results and as you can see there there's the full results next we decided to do the tests using atto Again, the read speeds on here did actually exceed the 5,000 megabytes per second quoted and got 5,250 megabytes per second, which is very good. Uh, again, when we get around to the right speeds, we did have a few issues there. It didn't seem consistent, don't get me wrong. On average, it's still the fastest drive we've tested, but the speeds could randomly change between 1800 megabytes per second all the way up to nearly 4000 megabytes per second a little short of what the quote um, so don't get me wrong it is capable of doing that speed but it's not as consistent as let's say the Samsung 970 Pro which is pretty consistent um, which you can see in this picture here on the left you can see the bars especially the right speed is all over the place uh, compared to on the right hand side the Samsung Evo where it's pretty much a straight line very hot um, gets up to 81 degrees Celsius but as soon as you attach a heat sink that will drop to around about 60 degrees Celsius uh, we did retest it with a heat sink and we got roughly the same results so it didn't really affect the read and write performance overall a very high speed device not exactly as good as it should be on paperwork, very inconsistent write speeds, but saying that, even though they're inconsistent, they still work out a lot faster than all the other SSDs we have tested.